Oh good, this looks promising. Ooh, lots of bloody stuff. What what's what's that dead in the distance? Thick wing. Fuck I'm muted, wing, damn it. Incubation wing. It looks like a dog, except this dog has arms and like weird growths on it. Hold on, I need to quickly roll and you'll be able to see specifically what my hat. Hippos looks disgusting. Dogs don't it does have not... arms, that's silly. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Da -da. Let's see. One, two, three. You can see specifically, there is acid trailing from its mouth. There's something strange about its flesh that you can't quite tell, and additionally it's just covered in numerous weird fleshy tendrils. Even in death they seem to judder just a little bit. Yeah. Can, can we yeah, just... Interesting. Can we just... Burn this place, this this not good place. Why? As far as research goes, this actually provides a lot of opportunities. Also, now that you're technically in this place proper, I'm going to give a warning. I know that I'm absolutely garbage at building counters so far, but this is intended to be pretty difficult. So, I'll give you the warning, you probably want to be careful here. So, uh, turn around, go home. Right. It's doable, it's just going to be difficult. Well, everyone, I would like to uh, make sure that we that we all understand we're walking to a TPK here. Good. Cool. I mean, I I'd never used my temporary hero point before, so I I, I technically have, have two that. hero points. I'd I'd survive. Yeah, but to be captured yeah. and mutated. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'd survive. Plus, already has one mutation. He's fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm Actually, yeah. I basically belong here already. Okay. What's I'm up, fellow mutations? I mean, the last mutation worked out so well. The best surely, surely has to be yeah, good. I, if you don't mind, Epos, I'm going to make a suggestion that we go to the um the research wing. Epos, not know where going, so. Oh, so, uh, we want to bring others. Yeah, ideally. Epos comes back to the door and just sort of shouts through. It all quiet. We're dead, dog. Tentacle thing, uh, it's safe, come through. And then wanders off again. Noticeably, Aaron, I will say, there, there are signs in this place. In fact, people can't read them because they're in Freyan. Research wing, incubation wing, and up ahead is the domestic wing. Yeah, um, I mean, unless Marie has a suggestion about where we should actually be going. She's kind of like staring into space. She just says, I think whatever we need, we're here for particularly is below us, but I don't know if we should go there now. Uh, personally, I say we go to the research wing because having an idea about what we're going to be encountering is our probably our best bet. You give uh, Ash a bit of time to resummon Perz. Yeah. And one minute later... I'll be right back, though, personally. Life hack. Resummon your summon past the weird ward thing. Hey, that's how that's your best bet for for whenever you're in the summoner, so Dang, yeah. Yeah, nah. That's the thing. But you're free to investigate this place as you will. Kinda like how hanging, you know, garlic and holy symbols above a uh, a doorway doesn't necessarily prevent a vampire from getting in. It just has to be a little bit more clever. I'll take the chimney. Pretty much. You hear bells ringing in the distance as the snow falls outside. You suddenly hear someone on the rooftop. It is not Santa Claus. It is Biter Claus. <laughs> it's Santa Claus and the vampire. He sneaks in. He take, sneaks into the bedroom. Bites into his victim's neck. And wipes the frosting from his fangs. They were cake. No, don't bring this here. <laughs> also, I, I'm just saying, I do now like the idea, though, of a really big, chubby vampire dressed as Santa. <laughs> oh, God. That would be terrifying. Gonna move yourself up here, Darkie. There you go. As you enter the room, you can obviously see the weird dead, dead dog thing. You can see bloody footprints leading to below. This place doesn't actually seem as bad as Marie was making it out to be. So I guess we switch wing way. Sure. Thankfully, I can tell you that 
The research wing doesn't necessarily lead anywhere. However, it does, but as Apos kind of steps into the threshold of it, he can see that this entire place is just filled with ash. Mounds upon mounds of ash and oh, melted God, they're cloning stuff. here. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. my clones. Hello. Ash was a true BBEG all along. But even... Apos doesn't think this is recent, but despite that, this place is still, like, half on fire. Mm. It's going to be dangerous to search this place. This place As burned a long time ago. Still burn now. The research wing is not a map wing, but rather this is a place you can search to find stuff. Cool. What kind of stuff? You're not sure until you actually go in. There's a table, I will tell you. So who wants to take 2d4 fire damage to search? Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Basically it'll take a couple of minutes of you basically rushing and grabbing what you can find that still looks kind of vaguely okay and then dipping out. Unless you manage to have enough resistance to fire that you can walk in, in which case I can just kind of give you everything assuming enough time. That is sadly uh, not on my prepared spells. Ironically, the one resistance I don't have is fire. Yeah, I remember checking that because it's ironic that you're fiery ASMR, but like you have cold acid electricity, pretty much everything else resistance. Yeah, because Perry Blood it doesn't change your resistances. Uh fuck. Fortunately none of the companions you brought are particularly resistant to fire, so we're not too hot on the idea of searching it either. Yeah, I can still yep, bring Prismality, you go do it. Aye aye, Captain. Does Prismality have any resistance to fire? No, but she also rolled a nat 1 on Perception. Oof. Prismelda, unfortunately, does not find anything and takes 5 fire damage. Well, I mean, unless, you know, my crown thing did something for that. Oh, actually, you might be right. Hold on, I need to look up the fire template. What was the fucking summon feat? Expanded summon? Maybe? There's one where it's like... I'll say that. Da -da -da. Versatile some monster, there we go. Fiery gives... Doesn't actually give any fire resistance, it looks like. Hmm, okay. But, uh, this template can only be applied. A creature CR gives right, by hi. one against the... Oh, against the fire subtype. Hello. Let's see if a fire subtype goes any fire resistance. Ash is trying to... Oh, immunity to fire. Never mind. Prismelda can fucking just search your entire thing. Yay. Let me write out all the stuff in the chat. Unfortunately, uh, not many documents survived the place. They weren't exactly fire resistant, but a lot of other stuff did. Stuff that it seems the researchers had on them at the time of this place going up in flames. Although apparently, according to Candle's page, I specifically can take energy attacks or fire immunity, but we'll just say I resummon for fire immunity. Yeah, I mean, you have time. Technically. That 55 gold pieces is in various denominations of silver, gold, and copper. Welcome back, Dark. Uh, the only thing you missed is Prismelda is immune to fire, so she searches the entire research ring of everything they can potentially get for it, which is the loot table and the out of character chat. I don't have any. Amongst. The strange thing is, as Prismelda searches the research ring and you lot, I presume, chill, waiting for it to come back, the bodies she finds don't exhibit any of the mutations, or they don't exhibit any mutations actually, it's largely just skeletons, in some cases charred people. She totals about like 17, 16 total. So, how we go down? Yeah. Ooh, a mithril ring. Yeah. Neat. Is it magic? No. Okay. It just appears to be a mithril ring inscribed with look, looks like some kind of old-looking runes, but there's no magic from it. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what the Talisman of Arrow Protection does, I believe it's for one hit you get a uh, protect- or if you get hit by more than two ranged attacks a turn, you get protection from arrows for that turn. Yeah. The, the moment you would get hit by a second one, it activates. Yeah. Yes. You're heading down, Aaron. And does everyone follow? Let's gather your party before adventuring forth. Uh, let's see, going down the right side. You have to be hit 
to fork proc or just attack twice? Uh, you're hit. Okay. By two or more ranged attacks in a single round. You head down the stairs where these strange bloody footprints appear to lead northward. It also appears this place is some kind of storeroom, though even at a casual inspection, it appears it's been plenty used. Hmm. This place is very, very disturbing. Bigby, can you remember perception check? Can do. Uh, can't. But uh, does June is June able to roll one as well? June is can roll one. Yes. Alternatively, they can aid you. Uh, let me Your choice. June's perception is just as good as mine, if not slightly better. I think maybe a little bit better because you got some wisdom. Yeah, I think she's just a little bit better. She is. So we're both gonna roll separately. Thank you. Boop. And. June's turns, much turns out that was maybe the correct uh, option. As you come down here, Silas, June's grasp on your neck suddenly tightens, and through the empathic link you possess with her, you feel fear. Something's here. Careful. Careful with your moving. As the memories stream into you, June can feel something dangerous to the north, dangerous to her specifically as well. It's fine, there's nothing here. No. No, Ibos, there's nothing. There's something here, and it's not pleasant. Ibos and Aaron from there will be able to see past this area of his purple light, thick and dense. Ibos, um, if you don't mind, uh, I would like to go f and just make sure what it is. I don't want to be if yeah, you, you can go. Ippos, come with. Wait. Wait. One moment. Aaron, I need to borrow the coin. Yeah. Uh, here. Alright, Silas is going to flip the coin. I'm going to take the opportunity to cast Heightened Awareness. Okay. I'm sneaking, sneaking, sneaking! Ippos Damn it, Aaron. is attempting to sneak with. Before they move, I wanted to cast Bless after flipping the coin. I mean, you could do that now, it's a 50 foot emanation. Em 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 okay. They're still well within yeah. range. Okay, good. Yeah, I want, to, I want to cast Bless on Catch Everyone, and I want to spend two points of Phrenic Pool, one to boost Aaron's will save with Mind Shield, and one to boost Wolf's. Okay. Considering you're doing this and what I'm about to reveal, I'm going to quickly enter Soft Initiative, which is basically this isn't necessary combat, this is just time matters. So if you can, please roll initiative as I reveal the next area. As Aaron and Epos get closer. I'm tempted to burn my heightened awareness on this. <laughs> if you enter combat, you will use the initiative that you've rolled here. So if you yeah. want to, you can. I'm, the I'm, issue I'm is if you don't to... roll combat. Uh, it, it feels combat-y. Yeah, let, let's burn it. I don't need a plus two on perception anyway. Yes, I guess you can always just recast it. Oops, I forgot to. Silas is ready. That. That's that the correct one. Go. Ooh, purpley. As you see, just a quick second more. I need to just check with vaguely everything of the princess revealed. Pile of corpses. Two piles of corpses. Tasty. Is that the corpses down here? I can't remember. There's two piles next to the pool. Oh yes. Top okay. and bottom. You're right. Aaron, you see... Marie's actually also going to follow you, surprising you with how stealthy she is, per usual. Actually, did you just roll stealth? I can't... We have yeah. not both. yet. Please both roll me stealth. Stealth. Nice. Nice. Hey. Team's small. We, lo for... we lose track of each other. I, I, I don't think I lose track of you. I have good sight. Fuck you. But you remember Marie said there was a book here she either had to destroy or cleanse, and you think you found it as hanging over this pool of strange. I didn't have black water, so this pool of strange purpley black liquid is a tome. On it itself is a bunch of chains, ribbons, and other such things which seem to be keeping it sealed. This room feels wrong. This room feels. Disgusting as you can see black occur in numerous dead malformed bodies surrounding this 
pit of water. Can both of you roll me a perception, please? Damn it. Can the boss know like this place? I think we I think we found our target. Can 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 we burn that? No, Aaron? no. But it's wrong. In the pool of water you see a body. Not a body actually. It's moving. Do I recognize it? Only as it comes out of the water. As it goes to the north, pulling itself out of the water. A strange creature covered in masks. Its upper body just these strange faces while its arms and legs are long and sinuous. It pulls itself to the, the group of bodies and begins to feast. Now huh. can we burn it all? I... Tempted to say yes, but I kind of have to do some other stuff first. Out of character, this is the boss encounter. But this is so wrong. Frankly, I was tempted to see if we could actually finagle something to just get the book and just leave. But this thing wrong too. Can't just leave thing. I mean, we can. We not leave. Um, funny shadow hand bird thing alone. Well, that's because it was actively killing us. This guy's just sort of sitting in the basement. For now. For now, yes. Mm. 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 Thankfully, it doesn't seem to notice you too. Aaron's going to peek around the corner a little bit more with that door there. Does that have like a lock on it, or is it just chilling? Just appears to be a straight door. Do you wish to open the door? Uh, if it's like a creaky old door, I'd like to pe peer through it first. But if it's like a good door, then I'll wait till he's like face down in the body pile and then I'll open it. And he currently is that, so this is about as good of a chance you're getting, you think? Yeah, yeah. The door creaks a little. Not particularly noisily, but just it feels just a bit too loud to your ears. But you can go inside. Nope, that's hiding areas. Nope, come on. Get off my dick, please. There you go. Oh, good. We have place to sleep now. Oh, just appears okay. to be a little house that has some beds in it, but it's very Spartan. There's not really any furniture beyond the beds. Epos looks under the beds. It's very dusty under there. Um, what am I looking at in front of me? Uh, that appears to be just like a very low stone table. Hmm. Epos looks under the table. There's, I mean, it's pretty much just a stone block as much as a table. It's just something to sit around in this room. Epos is not strong or enough to on. look under that. <laughs> For, no, I'd be terrified if he was. Oh goodness, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, using Aaron's knowledge of engineering, do you feel like this uh, building is butted up to the building that's next to it? You do remember seeing like a stone wall here, so you don't think so. Though it might okay. be just, it could be, you're not sure. Like tap on the wall, see if it sounds hollow. Yeah, just, well, no, just like, does this wall share a wall with the woods on the other side? You don't think so. Okay. Great. So that goes rid of that idea. Um... Uh, I'm going to quickly pan to the other group. Are you doing anything? I should also note, you can basically freely communicate between each other thanks to the lens buff. Right, yeah. Weird creepy masked man up here eating corpses. That is not good. Oh, good lord, he is going to town. Yeah, mm. Silas is sort of stepping back and he's going to start communing with, with June. What do you want to know? Or what are you doing with June? What? Why is this very... Why is this making you so nervous? Fortunately, Jin still is not very intelligent. You just get the words fear, hungry. For a proper oh. conversation, you need a nap. Fortunately. I did not know you were capable of slurping intestine like in spaghetti. That's an image I enjoyed. Yep, okay. It's kind of weird because like the other tiny, smaller masks on them, they also have mouths and they're just kind of taking little nibbles at whatever he's eating. Oh, Jesus, those are not masks. Okay, all right. Oh, wow, they, uh, they're fighting over a scrap of meat now. Be very careful. Whatever is here is not happy. It's not no, no, he, he seems 
very happy. He is quite content right now. As you watch him, feel free to roll me any knowledge checks you want to, to try and identify anything about this creature. Sure. The fuck is he? <laughs> Uh, that would be, I believe it's Dungeoneering for Aberrations, but Religion also works. Uh, I'm going to add Inspiration to for 21. 21. Pretty sure this thing is not nature, despite the nat one. No. Feel bad, anti-nature. Okay, 21 uh, Dungeoneering. Might as well throw that Here. out, just because I can. Yeah. Oh, damn. You, okay, yeah. I'll get you in the same. Top contrast, yo. I'll give Aaron will apply the base knowledge, you'll learn an additional thing. Aaron, this is sort so it's like a step above the weird creatures you've seen so far in the labs and in the dungeon. The weird fleshy beasts. This feels almost perhaps intentionally created, which kind of fits in with what Marie told you before about Lamash too, about her being the mother of monsters and such. But you can identify mm, let's see. I give you a choice, because you can as you watch it and as it acts. This thing creature has multiple abilities, and you can, I say, go to 21, identify one of them. I'll write them in chat for you. Some of these abilities will have more things underneath them. But you'll need to identify yourself, but that'll be what Ipos's role is potentially used towards. And four. You can pick one to identify. Uh, okay, so its form seems to be changing um i'm gonna go with two uh volatile genetics volatile volatile genetics this ability has no further things to identify underneath it so you get the entire thing this creature is unstable its flesh constantly shifting in response to the stimuli within this area the mutate mutated visage gains resistance to the last type of damage dealt to it but gains a weakness to a opposing damage source for instance if it were to take fire damage it would become resistant to that and gain a weakness to cold or water damage. Question: How does oh this? God, I'm going to be amazing in this. How fight. does this work with force? This does not apply to force or sonic damage. Excellent. And for weapon damages, I, I present to you a little thing to the right. Oh, it's a rock paper scissors. I bet. Yeah. Did I please tell me I didn't put this on the gym layer? I did. Hold on a second. There you go. There. When the Ooh, creature is resistant to bludgeoning, it is weak to piercing. When the creature is resistant to slashing, it is, resi uh, it is weak to bludgeoning. When the creature is weak to piercing, or resistant to piercing, it is weak to slashing. So we're going to go full fire on this, are we? A little bit, yes. As you yeah. can maybe guess, the other creatures in this dungeon follow a very similar thing. In some cases. Uh, yeah. Epos, you can now choose, but do you want to identify one of these? You can either choose mutate or half filled, or actually you can choose taint or half filled vessel, not mutate. I think Epos would be more interested about the taint, because this thing feels wrong. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Go away, sideline. Uh... Taint. <laughs> this creature has 10 stacks of some sort of corruption. While this creature has corruption, it has increased strength and lowered intelligence. The, uh, this creature gains a number of abilities dependent on how many stacks of taint it has. You know that it has three abilities, but you're not sure what yet. Actually, within that 20, I'll give you one. Its first ability is called Servant Revitalized, where it basically gains a free heal per turn. Do I know what sort of heal? Uh, 1d10 plus 4. Dang. I did say it was the boss. Right, um, that's a great Epos. Where is that taint coming from? Can we give it a new name? Corruption? Corrupt, yeah. Evil icky black e source e of magic. Evil, evil icky black magic. That that work. Yeah, yeah, it's got that. Do you know where that's coming from? Epos points at the book and the glowing pool. Epos guessing that. Okay. I'm guessing that's where the feeling of wrong is coming from. Absolutely. Yeah, that. Well, the book and the pool itself feel like two different sources of weird corruption in us. It, it, both, but different. Like, book feel like mm. bad corruption, water feel like different bad corruption. Icky ah, black magic so, stuff. So, it's... Which, which, one, okay. which one feels stronger? Hmm. I'm guessing... Roll me a d20 plus your character level. Uh, so d20 plus 3. 
God damn. <laughs> oh, fuck the lot of you. <laughs> oh. They plus is both a druid and a face speaker. You're more, probably more attuned to souls than anyone in this party. These things are kind of of equivalent strength, but in different ways. This pool is of one creature and the book is of another. The book you can tell is a creation of Lamash too. The pool, you get the feeling it's more linked to whatever is with the, like, the weird thing with the Ash and Rebecca and with Dominic. Mm. Yeah. Weird. B book is from a uh, big monster lady, um, uh, Lamashtu. B book is oh, made yeah. by her and the he he got bigger. Um, yes, book is is from her. Is bad. Is is make bad stuff all over. Uh, Paul is more like um more like from from the Ash lady, uh, Re Rebecca. It's sort of saying corrupty feely f as her stuff, and it, oh, it, he, well, he he got bigger. Yeah, as yeah, you're talking. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he's kind of just going to town. You know that feeling when you eat a lot of stuff and you feel bloated. Yeah, he's taking that very literally. Yes, there's a the number. There's. I'll give you this quickly. There's a number of changes that happened when basically you've been talking. It grew in size as it's flesh just seems to have suddenly multiplied its tongue grows long and weirdly barbed and finally there's a strange kind of like opaque field around it you're not quite sure what that is uh, okay so the the black inky magic stuff that we've renamed um is getting stronger and he seems to be taking on the aspects of a faceless stalker uh i've read about those in a book once but he has face. He has many face. Yeah, faceless stalker is more of a nomenclature, not actually a, a thing. Um, they they drink blood through their tongues. Uh. Then again, perhaps we should stop it now. I'm. Oh, uh, that's a bit of a question. Um, Ash. Yep. How are you feeling about fungus? I don't mind fungus. Why? If I got you a book, could you smear some fungus on it? Yes. Cool. What about water fungus? The water I'm actually more curious in. The water I want to actually study. The book I don't give a shit about. If us want to your water too, but book first. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Let's go see our friends. Aaron's going to quickly, quietly open the door and hide behind this pillar. <laughs> They're in the other room, they're fine. Hippos and Aaron sharing a pillar. Hippos <laughs> stand next to the pillar. Also, quickly... didn't, re didn't realize you left Rusty behind. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I can't ride him quietly. I mean, it, it makes sense, I'm just so used to you dragging his token along as well, I didn't realize. Rusty, do me fuck. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got a plan. I'm gonna need a distraction. Princess, she's kind of using her cane back through the hallway. Ipple's good at distracting. Yeah. Um. Primarily, okay. Silas. Um. Oh God. Uh, Silas, I actually need you. What for? Uh. While I get two chains, you're gonna get the third, and make sure it doesn't fall in the water. I. I really hope you you're not needing. Physical chains? Uh, yeah, no, I feel I mean physical chains. I just need you to catch a book. If it's a book, then I can catch a book. Yep. Fine then. Unless okay. you want me to go with plan B off the tip off the bat, because I got that too. No, I can catch a book. Wolf, it's at the far side of the room, currently devouring a bunch of corpses. Hit it in the face. Real hard. We should go together. We are. Good. Okay. Give me a second. You have... Oh, mango spread. For those of you not basically sneaking up, you can basic you can get around about here freely before combat will start. For anyone else wanting to get further, you have to make stealth checks. Does mine and Evan's stealth check still apply from earlier? Sure. You haven't oh. really left here. 
How close can I get? Well, where would be some suitable cover that I can hide behind while still being There's within little... short range spells? There's a little cover in here. I'm thinking, so, I'm I'm thinking this, this nice corpse pile next, next to the rock. Quick question. For this chains, are they holding it to the ground or from the ceiling? The, it's holding it to the ground, but the book is floating in the air. Okay. That's what I thought. It's like... Me. Got it. Does it... it to the earth. Yeah, how, how much tension does the chains look to be under? Does it look like the book's trying to float away? Kind of. Like, the chains are taut. Okay. Is anyone else sneaking up? Uh, Aaron's also, during this time, going to quietly put the bomb at a, mi at a mixture uh, on one of her bombs. Okay. Because what I'll say now is we'll enter what is essentially the surprise round. Uh, surprise round. Let's see, my spells so, are only uh, thirty foot just... close. In that case, actually, I will st also start with the hammer out, not the um. Yeah, I'll start with the hammer out, not the great sword. Okay. Could I, I should also could I feasibly get around to like here without being detected? You can certainly try. This is my spells are thirty foot. Oh no, no, actually, here here works. Um, how how screwed are you going to be, Wolf, if I make the terrain difficult terrain? Depends where you make the terrain difficult terrain. Uh, a 20 foot, um, radius. Where you is. make the kid difficult terrain. Um, pretty much centred on him, so 20 feet around him. What? An issue? Not an issue, okay. This works. I should quickly note the... While you were basically discussing form up, another mutation has occurred. Instead of having a long tongue, it now seems to be breathing out some kind of green mist. I don't know what the green uh, green mist is. Um... So I'm sure someone might want to start writing down its mutations, if you haven't already. Nah, I have a memory, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, chances <laughs> are we're going to do some rounds of combat and we'll probably end up starting up again next time. Cause... Hey, June. This to memory, please. Oh, right, yeah. And you can always just drag out talking to yourself, but yeah, I'll give me a second. Oh, no, no, I was saying, I was asking June to commit it to memory. Oh. Yeah. That way I you mean, can remember. Commit what this thing's doing to memory. I don't actually want June here. Uh, you don't? I mean, I'll leave him to the side because that might become relevant. Okay. As you kind of got hints about beforehand. Yeah, also should have six health. Yeah, I don't really notice up with that. Weird. Wait a second. Yeah. There's a good place I can leave him where it doesn't look like we're in combat. Let's in the pool. To... In this wall. Right in the middle sure. of the pool. Okay. As we enter what will essentially be combat, I need to quickly first reveal a few things. Because some characters here have special actions, which will be relevant in the middle of this combat. Woo -woo. Uh, I can ignore Alana because she's not here, but she might be next time, so save that because it'll be special. Specifically... Marie and Wolf have special actions. Also, for this combat, Marie's actually going to be a character herself. Da -na -na -na. You have gained companion. Ooh, I'm not sure Wolf should be eating the taint. You you should never know. Never... Mechanics and fights, man. That, that. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, Wolf's special action absorb taint. When hanging the mutated visage, visa it's supposed to be vestige. I keep mixing it up. Anyway, or when adjacent to the MV when it is hit, Wolf can choose to absorb an instance of taint. And Marie can essentially she's going to be spending her turns attempting to cleanse the book. Slash helping whoever's in danger. That would Actually, but... taint. That would take taint off the creature. Yes. Which I'll remind you, the creature becomes more intelligent as it loses taint but becomes less strong. Ain't not bad. Oh, I've got all this burn. I've got all this burn reservoir, I suppose. <laughs> Silas, we'll start with you, as you herald off the surprise round. Oh, right. Do you need to roll for Prismality, Torn? Or does she just act on your turn? I can't remember. Uh, you need to roll. Uh, Eilon's function separately. Yeah, I just completely forgot to, apparently. So let's see if I have any good combat music for this, because I feel like I had something set up but I've forgotten about it. Does this thing have a mind? Would Aaron... Oh, oh yes, it would. With your vote, yes, it is intelligent. It has a mind. 
Well, keeping mind aberrations tend to be a bit whack about that, even if they have a mind. Yes. And there we go. Prismality uh, is infinitesimally faster than Murray. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. You know, first things first, I still have coin buff, so I'm going to throw out moment of greatness for everybody. And I'm going to tie my um uh my can we go to the beach today with it. Okay. So now everybody, any morale bonuses you get gain plus one to that bonus. Give me this for a number of yeah. As One well hand. as you now have Moment of Greatness, meaning you can expend it to double a morale bonus for one check. All morale bonuses passively have plus one to them. So your yes. bless is now plus two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As this well, Aaron and Wolf, your mind shields are both plus three now. I have other, I have other situations as well going on here. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, rage is get real good. And I'm yeah, so just going to move there. Remember, it's a surprise, a surprise round. round. Yeah. Oh, it's a surprise round? So, yeah, one action. Yes. Never mind. We're good then. Did everyone get buffed? Ash. All right. So, since it's just a surprise round, I am. Very, very in text in case Rose appears next week. So, going to just uh, move on up. Hi. I, I need to be within an unfortunately close range to. Start doing some fucking power combos. Yeah, join the club. Any oh, right. No, I only get a move action. Yeah, no, I keep forgetting. Alright. All right. Yep. Go back. Oh. Okay. Welcome back. Also, I forgot I should add a turn marker. Alright, well, my first turn is going to be fairly boring because there's not a lot I can do. Yeah, it's a surprise round, so it's basically movement or attack if you have very long range. Annoyingly, this is the one time I'm using a medium range spell, so I've got 120, 130 foot range, and I'm still getting too close to it. That's all we'll do to start us off with. Just melty. Just gonna move on up. We rolling, Marie. Right, Marie. What the fuck can you do again? <laughs> I don't get to break up Marie a lot. Um, do you really only have? Oracle spells. Oh yeah, because you fucked a bit with that. Mm. Let's see, who here is prone to being controlled? I'm not sure, just move here. Ipos. Ipos. Ipos cast spell. Go for it. It is just a standard action spell, so I can do so. Good. I need a 20 foot radius um, thing. Okay. Uh, where are you centering it? If you can just draw a dot. Uh, like where... I'll I'll do it on like his corner tile. Fair. Uh, really? Is there like a template for this in Rule Twenty? No. Your slash shakes fist. This is an object with twenty foot aura. Oh, smart. Uh, and hence hence Le Bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What spell are you using so I can get an appropriate effect? I am using Burning Sands. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. Right, that's lightning. No, I'm, I'm going to keep it as fire. Someone should, it, should it just churning up the earth, into earth so it's so hot? Yeah, well, a 20 foot radius from his corner spare, uh, um, square, it's covered in hot sand. It's a foot deep, constantly shifting and churning making the whole area difficult terrain, and any creature ending its turn in contact with the ground um, in that area takes 1d4 fire. Good thing I'm going to have ER free to fire after my first turn. Yeah! Um, and I don't... Th no, I won't get any bonuses to the damage from Bloodline or Blood Havoc. So that's fine. Not, you've not gone lightning. Nope. Oh, whoops. Apparently it's no, blue fire. Like that. Okay, never mind. I'll just have it circular. I don't have a red ball, weirdly mm -hmm. enough. Uh, I'll just pop like here. Yep. Okay, I'll Great. Okay, I can't move it to map for it, but no. Token you stay. You yep, can't see the ore. You haven't aimed the ore to play us. Right. Hold on, let's go. Don't bring sense. Da da da. And enable ore to players. 
But I just generally put on token layer, but then drop it to the very bottom of the token layer. Oh, you very forget you can do that. Yep. It does unfortunately mean that after all of its turns, it'll get fire resistance. I mean, that's arguably a potentially useful thing. That means you guys know what its elemental weakness is going to be. True. Also, you do have snowball, don't you? I do have snowball. Yes. And I imagine you know Ash has ice something ice useful. <laughs> like, you always like to have Ice Sweetness after its turn, so... Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. Any creature ends its turn. Yes, end its turn okay. within the area. Gotcha. Aaron. Rusty's gonna move. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna move over here. Mm-hmm. Aaron, as, uh, as Aaron moves, Aaron's gonna pull out a gadget and slap it to the side of... Uh, uh, Rusty's mouth, which a little small cutting wheel suddenly spools up on the two edges of his the corners of his mouth. Magic bang. Uh, no, I'm using my uh, ga uh, miscellaneous gadget ability to sacrifice an extract to give him a bonus on breaking things. Oh, okay. Keep that in mind. There's now a hacksaw on the front of Rusty. Yeah. Uh, technically, this should be zero. We enter combat proper. If you mutate it, visages of the floor underneath it starts to burn its feet. Let's out a bone curdling roar. Wrong, wrong thing, but anyway, bone feel bad. Ipos cackles. <laughs> ah, my bones! They're curdling! <laughs> bone jelly. <laughs> Silas. Be brave. Alright. Okay. You've already fucking used all your phrenic poo, whoosh. Uh huh, I have. That's fine, because now I, I've also used all my buffs, so who cares about buffs anymore? Uh, I'm going to hop down here, so I'm within range of the fucking book, uh -huh. and ready in action for if the book drops to grab it with Mage Hand. Gotcha. Or if the book gets free to grab it with Mage Hand, which, as a reminder, since I have three ranks in Spellcraft, my Mage Hand is ten pounds per... Uh, ten pounds now. Five pounds would have been fine, honestly. Okay, just making sure. Gotcha. In case magic things. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Okay. I had to quickly adjust because I forgot this finger in size, and that means it loses a little bit of AC. Uh -huh. Okay. The mutated visage has let out this roar. It takes. Or do you want to roll for fire damage, or shall I? Oh, I can roll. It's only a d4. Yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah. It's supposed to be ends its turn in the area? Yeah. Oh, true. Well, if it ends in its area, it's a 3 damage. And oh, it, and it is difficult to terrain. Are you trying to make some difficult terrains with double movement cost? Yep. The issue with this thing, as you quickly find out, is it's very fast. 20. 40. As a note, it technically would have ended around in the area, so... I am... Um, it... The surprise round. No, because it had its turn before me. Yeah. Oh, really? Dang. Yeah. 60. Okay. Uh, let's see. I had to quickly... I should probably should have done this beforehand, so... It's also very stupid at the moment, so I'm not sure it would care about the yeah. little bit of warmth on its feet. And eight. True. I mean, and even animals don't stay away from hot thing. Yeah. yeah. But it's just warm sand. It's warm enough to leave burn marks, so... It's hot sand. Anything. Mm. Damn it, let Let's it be see. useful. Oh, I should also specify there's still plenty more abilities for you to identify on this thing. And also, stuff in this room. Should it come to your turn, you don't have any knowledge checks to make, feel free to make perceptions. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Does it work? Um, no. I, I guess a knowledge check from Silas. Yeah, go for it. Thing. I'll quickly try to figure uh, out what it wants to do. Yeah, what kind of knowledge check? It's up to you. Arcana, Dungeoneering, Religion are useful against the creature. Let's... I guess it's a question of what do you want to identify in this room first? Let's go with Arcana because... Actually, no, I want to focus on the book. Okay. And the pool. Pool more uh, than... You'll have to... you have... Okay, pool. That yeah. will be a... Reli... Planes or Religion? I have both. Let's go with Planes this time. Boop. 